Hey, what's up YouTube? So, um, today I'm gonna be redoing this uh, one inch titanium tweeter on a tweeter speaker I had. Um, it's blown out. I received it like that. It's a Kenwood. I believe it was an 8 ohm. I'm gonna replace it with an 8 ohm uh, one inch one inch a dome tweeter, titanium tweeter, and uh, I'm gonna be doing some soldering. A little bit cleaning up on the speaker. So, um, yeah, I got my soldering iron. Got my shrink tube in the case I needed. You know, I got my rosin paste flux. I got a little bit of solder here from Radio Shack. I think I believe it's a what 0 0.062, and I got a little bit of thicker one. I measured the resistance, you know, the ohms on this new titanium tweeter measured about 6.1. Um, so, um, yeah. All right, let's get it started. All right, I'm gonna start by unscrewing these uh, four screws off the actually off the titanium tweeter. Got the four screws unscrewed and I'll be removing it now. As you see, this one was pretty burnt. I actually opened it up already and I cleaned it inside. There's a coating that they put on the coil that actually melted out and it just got all over the cone area. Um, but I cleaned that up with some alcohol. 70% alcohol and uh, cleaned out pretty good. So now I'm going to remove, be removing the coil from the actual tweeter cover, which actually comes apart just like this. As you can see, there's some kind of glue, just kind of like, let's see if it focus, okay. Some kind of just glue or something just to cover up that strand of wire, the strands of wires. And I'll be removing this and cleaning it up a little bit and then resoldering it to these uh, binding posts for the speaker, well, the speaker posts. Yep. So I'm using a razor blade to remove this kind of uh, glue. Uh, I don't know what. It's, what's it really? It seems some kind of glue. It's really soft, but I'm using a razor blade kind of to scrape it off uh, a little bit while I'm actually lifting it up really slowly. Uh, but yeah. So I also used a razor blade uh, and a heat gun actually. Um, my heat gun with the you know I think it's like quarter inch nozzle nozzle. Uh, to loosen the glue up from where the cone sits on the plastic and um, came off pretty easy um, I don't know what I'll be using to actually glue it down again I might use some hot glue or something hopefully I'm using the right product um, but yeah all right so now I'm gonna be removing coil connector and that's it done so I used uh, some goof off pro strength remover to remove the rest of that residue the uh, residue from that glue around the ring and it, it actually worked pretty well um, cleaned it up pretty good so all right, so uh, speaker, well, tweeter leads are done. Uh, added some hot glue around the titanium cone. Um, came out all right, I guess. I mean, I really 
I'm not really looking for perfection, perfection, but um, just just enough glue to hold down that titanium dome down, and then uh, everything's good. Um, I centered the cone on top of the magnet first before I actually even, you know, glued it just to make sure it was centered. Uh, cleaned the magnet out. I think the only thing I didn't really like this Kenwood Japanese made coil. The original, I mean, it's it's an eight ohm, but it gives me about like six point nine, almost seven ohms, and this new one is barely giving me like. I believe it's like six ohms or something like that so I'll show you guys right now what I mean I'm trying to do this with one hand five point it's like five point nine yeah and the original one is it's it, the original one is um, the original one is like seven six point nine. All right, finished product. Sounds incredible. I won't be able to play this song a long time, quite long. Uh, because of copyright issues, but anyways, yeah, sounds pretty good. He didn't say